Hey, I'm in the woods today. It's an afternoon and I'm looking to see there is supposed to be a, an open cut which is believed to date back to Roman times. Um, uh, so I just want to check and see what it's like. I'm sort of hidden in the woods so I'm just going to try and I'm going to try and see what I could find. Oh, you got to love Welsh weather. There's free water running from the sky. <laughs> I was just going to get out of the car, but I might wait now because <laughs> there's rain and there's this. Well, anyway, so while I'm waiting, maybe I'll tell you about this mine. So this, this mine has two parts. There's the very old part, which is believed to be Roman. And then there's the more modern part. But when I say modern, I mean Victorian. So it's, it's still an old mine. So the reason why there's actually quite some fairly good evidence why this mine is Roman, um, what was believed to be Roman anyway, um, because just nearby, just over there, there's a Roman fort. They only excavated it in 1920, so you know it's only a hundred years ago that they excavated the, the, that Roman fort. There's, you know, I, I would take you over there and show you, but there's nothing there. This is just a field. It's just the way it goes with. Um, with Roman forts, uh, but when they excavated it, they did find a lot of pottery and they found loads of pieces of lead. And considering the proximity, I mean, where is that lead, lead was going to come from? It's quite high likelihood that it's here, as well as the features of the workings. That proves sort of, you know, it's all just pointing to older workings, which hopefully <laughs> if the rain behaves and, um, and, and, you know, if we can get out there, then um, I'll show you. So anyway, come with me um, and let's brave the rain. Let's get out there. Yeah, you can really see the crag from here. <laughs> it's sort of bulging the ground. I, I could imagine back in the day, uh, you know, people thinking maybe as far as, as Roman times, people thinking, oh my God, I wonder what's inside that. And, you know, climbing up and checking and maybe finding some lead, some galena um, and making their discovery. So the so-called entrance is over there. And then it just carries on all across, across this open cut. And then you can see how there's another little gallery up above. Um, so they, they, they actually did work it almost like a bit like stopes nowadays. So they, they did create separate, separate galleries. But otherwise Romans would tend to just remove everything. So it was open cast method um, as opposed to driving a level even though they did do shafts and they did do they would drive a shaft and um, and then have a have a level or a, or a gallery below um, that was known to them but I think where the vein ran all the way up to the to the surface it, it obviously made sense to just remove the whole thing well so this is the Roman added so I actually had to climb in through the top because the front is even more painful um, but yes, yeah, so it's, it's fairly low where we are here, but then straight away you can see how um, the walls are much higher. Um, so they, they literally, they, they drove it straight through, through this crag and obviously then they get higher and higher and higher um, because that's where the vein went. So this is where, this is where we're going to go. It's muddy, but it's, um, hopefully it's going to be reasonably dry. I say that, but we're yet to find out. Oh, that was the plane that went past. I don't know if you heard that. So now I'm, I'm fully encased by the walls and we're just going to keep going deeper in. And what I find quite interesting is that the walls get really narrow here. So clearly the vein was only that thick. So it's, it's what, sort of like a two feet, more or less. Um, it goes, it ducks under slightly, but I think, yeah, I have a feeling all they did, instead of driving some kind of a structure, they they just removed the valuable ore. So this was a lead mine, by the way. <laughs> I think I did mention at the very beginning. Um, and you can see how it narrows at that point, right down to just a tiny little vein. Well, it's enough for me to squeeze through. Um, not for a medium-sized person. Oh, it gets quite narrow. Yeah, this is where it gets really narrow. 
And this is where they made, they sort of created another little gallery up above. So yeah, almost like a little stope, like we see in more modern mines. Oh God, the mud, can you see that? <laughs> don't like that. And this is where it ends in this pool. Obviously, I don't want to step into that because it's pretty. It's going to be pretty muddy and potentially quite deep. Um, but yeah, quite curious about that stope there. It doesn't really go. It, I know it looks like from the video that it would go somewhere, but I can see that it just sort of ends fairly quickly up up in there so um not that not that I would be able to climb in there I mean this is um this is sort of a it's, it's high it's maybe something like um 10 10 feet or so so for a lead mine the walls seem to be quite bare the rock but then if it is really indeed as old as as they say it is then you know you wouldn't really have that much here considering that it's an open cut so it's all out in the open um, you know, when you shine the camera, it actually does bring out a little bit of colour. Um, but that's just, you know, it's a bit of rust, really. It's a bit of ochre. Um, and there's probably, I don't know if it's a bit of calcite around here. Um, or if it's indeed, maybe it's like, to be fair, this might be organic. Um, but it just, it has been exposed to the elements for far too long for the minerals to... Um, to, to not oxidize, you know, it's only really in the mines that you find shiny minerals like, like you see in other videos, if you haven't seen. So I think, I think the, the plan now really is to climb back out, not through here really, <laughs> no, not through here, um, and then really find some more workings, maybe some more um, Roman workings or otherwise check out the newer mine. Which is, which is part of the same vein, really, the same workings, um, where it was picked up years later. This is a better view, so I'm standing on top of it, and you can see that's where the adit starts. Well, I say the adit, really, is just the way in. It starts, and there's this open cut. It runs, it cuts all across this, um, it's like a little craggy, a little crag, um, and then it disappears. Obviously, this could be you know, this could be ground that's uh, that's been covered by forestry and, and debris because it carries on up over there. This one's a bit more pronounced and probably a bit deeper, but you can see how much how much debris there is, and you know, it's not surprising considering hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of years that it's been here. So really, it probably would have been quite a bit deeper. So this continuation, it's hard to tell actually whether they all would have connected as one, one long, long open cut or whether they sort of just worked out certain bits because there, there's definitely connecting rocks. So that was definitely, um, there was a bridge um, of sorts, but whether that was connected by a level, that would require a lot of digging. <laughs> years and years of, of debris and forestry. And all this we are on top of it now so it's a bit scary because you know you think well is this is this the top of the open cut still <laughs> so that's why I'm a bit you know I'm being a bit cautious here um, it almost looks like yeah they they chopped through there possibly not um, possibly the tree roots are holding it up anyway but hey it can never be too safe and the outcrop continues, but it sort of seems like this is where they stopped because there really is no, um, the, the open cut doesn't punch through that outcrop there, that, that ends, ends here. Beautiful trees when you think about it, um, but obviously they, <laughs> they, they don't help the landscape, the mining workings being preserved. Um, they just sort of tend to obliterate um, and any softer features but in any case we're gonna we're gonna have a look straight up sort of follow the vein and see whether we can find some newer workings um, in, in this line of sight and if you in fact from this this is probably a good perspective here um, if you look down below there where this tree is there is an open cut so almost like a little just just a little open cut so whether that was a trial whether that was from the Roman times um, I know that in Roman times they used to do hushing, what was called hushing, so they would 
pump water and then let the water flush out any clays, anything that can be um, washed out easily um, and then sort the material from there. Um, who knows? So I've climbed down and now deeper into the woods looking for more mines, more levels. The trees are massive, absolutely huge. And there's another level just opening up right so it, it, this is where the channel would have gone um, but it looks like it's completely um, run in so I wonder whether that's an, whether that is still continuation of the old Roman workings um, but there's another another hole further there yeah is that a shaft Oof. it is indeed or is that a collapsed level so the best way to find out is to have a little look what's inside, if that's a level or a shaft. And ta-da! Right, okay, so it's really, what it is, is it's sort of like a level. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite deeply flooded, actually. And it gets much deeper further in, which, which isn't really normal for a level. So I'm just thinking maybe it's some kind of an open cut. Oh, wow, that's, yeah, so it drops down, okay. Yeah, it's really deep. It's really flooded, but yeah, it, it drops really down, right down, further in. So I'm just thinking maybe, yeah, maybe, the, the, you know, the water level is there because the, the normal floor would have been much lower. Beautiful clean water, otherwise. Um, I don't know if that's a stemple or maybe that's just a bit of, um, barbed wire from the modern fence posts but yeah it's um that would be a swim that wouldn't be an explore <laughs> I just realized it's crunching under my feet I'm actually standing on the spoil heap there's loose bits I was thinking why why it feels so different and it's so hard it's that's that is the spoil heap um, and the, over that side that's where the Roman mines are well, what we think are Roman mines, anyway. <laughs> so where I was pointing out that this this heap really here, this is the spoil heap um, for that level slash shaft that we found in there. Um, one interesting thought is that if you think about the this old crag, so the, the Roman mine um, goes like this. Um, there are no spoil heaps visible anywhere. And if you think the amount of material to remove all all of the, you know, if they, they, they did that open cut sort of pretty much across inside this crag, that's a lot of material. Um, so there is a there is a hypothesis that because so remember that that fort I mentioned that was found in the field nearby, um, because they found so much white clay um, in the in in the excavation. The, that someone actually suggested, um, one of the, at the time, so this would have been early 20th century, um, one of the scientists who visited, they suggested that actually that white clay potentially would have come with the lead vein, so it would have been, that, that's why they removed all the, all the vein, extracted all the lead and took all the white clay and then used it for the, for the pottery um, and whatever other needs that they had. So because of that, because potentially minerals being found in, in these rocky outcrops like this, in between here, so if you think that there's our crag there, then the Roman fort is about maybe a mile or two far back that way. Uh, but in between them, there's another massive, massive crag, much bigger than this one, sticking out in, again in the trees. And just because I'm curious, because the way I am, I'm actually going to go and check and see whether there was a mine or any kind of mining activity um, in that crag or, or was there another open cut on top of it so if you're curious come and join me and interestingly I'm following this old track um, it really goes nowhere but sometimes it's really good to find a track that sort of seemingly almost doesn't make sense because often that can be an old miners track um, yeah, this 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 part is overgrown, but you can still, you know, on site you can still tell there's no big trees, so it's only been um, let um, grow over fairly recently. 
there are no paths, but there's this, there's this crag. There's this rocky outcrop that I think it might be in there. It's quite steep in places, but then there seems to be a bit of an entry point here, so I'll climb over there. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. A little bit overgrown, but if I can access it, then I hope it's going to be through here because I saw the slopes up up the other side. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm actually just on the edge of it. Right, okay. Need to go up, I guess, up and over. Climb over around there. Really steep this way around. Just a steep rocky wall. Must be the way in through there. Oh, very steep, nearly at the top now. Well, at the top. So what's at the top? A fallen tree. There's a platform, so it's flat at the top. Huh. How strange. So those were today's mines. Thanks for joining. Um, there was nothing up on top of that open cut, but still on, on that uh, on that bigger crag, but still good that I checked. Bit of good exercise. And now we're going to do a little recce for tomorrow's explore. And funnily enough, I ran into Terry and Frida just now. <laughs> and we Honestly, that was completely unplanned because we were going to meet up tomorrow. Uh, but that's how it all happened. Yeah, a little recce for tomorrow. Found the edit. This might be the one. It will save us time tomorrow. Yeah, maybe maybe that's just the impression it gives, yeah. but it's there's not that much space, mm. but not that little. I thought it was literally like headspace, but no, I think I think it's it's something in between. So and and le the level, the water level here where it starts mm. is really shallow, so it probably deepens further in where there's no silt, yeah. um, and then shallows yeah, out again. Down here, that should get shallow and shallow, right? No, I think it gets deeper. It does, yeah, because it can't. The adze can't be that shallow, like it can't be that low. Um, but yeah, see, we'll see tomorrow. Yes. And so anyway, see you soon. Um, join me, join me for more explores and do subscribe and I'll catch you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.